all right guys welcome to my channel this is games on in this video we are going to test four piece of v2's argent 2 p shal bars versus four piece of banquet of ice and two piece of v2's arch inside the hell 8 dungeon doing solo to see which one is actually is faster so my setup for the four piece v2s and two piece shalbas is going to be vision of the lost hit sheet a binding rope silent retribution excavator and hunger and these are my gems you can see the icon berserker high bottle hope bloodstroke jade gloom cask bloody reach and forward fang same goes here the legendary gems and the setup for my four piece banquet of eyes and two piece of vitus earth is going to be vision of the lost head sheet stampede for reign of vengeance daring swing uh the pent which is called scorn beak i think it gives us 30 percent attack speed for 6.4 seconds excavator and impale now also cause enemies to bleed for this amount of damage over three seconds so this is actually going to help us keep the continual damage so yeah let's go and the first setup that we are going to try is actually is going to be my four piece v2s and two piece of shall bus so yeah let's go we are going to try the carbon of echoes a pretty straightforward dungeon i would say and i also have a timer which you can see on the screen that i am going to start the moment we enter all right it started and time to see how it does Alright, I'm going to run until the Yeah, until the end. Alright, Rain of Vengeance activated. As you can see the damage output is actually really good with this. And it's done. Alright. Let's go inside. Alright, Vengeance is on the cooldown, no issue. He's going to do his animation and test stuff. No worries. We got it. We got him. Yeah, making him hit the wall is actually wet. Oh no. Yeah. Let's keep him close. No, I'm going to leave the loot there just to be quick. So far, the timer is actually really nice. We are at the final gate. All right they're dead nicely the elites are here all right two minute time and we are at the gate and this should allow me yeah this should allow me to open the gate and without losing any time let's jump in These builds with 4 piece features are most easiest to play with as a demon hunter in my opinion. The momentum is actually really good. All you have to do is just keep on moving yourself. Alright, we are at almost 3 minute timer now. Let's see how quickly we can drop him not a big issue so far it is going to go underground all right Ooh. 
streamers and yeah we can do this dungeon under four minutes doing solo that's impressive and there he goes three minutes and 25 seconds is the timer that took us three minutes and 25 seconds with four pieces of vetoes so that is actually impressive but now it's the time to test with four pieces of banquet of hall to see which one is actually faster of or if they are going to be tied with one another uh where was it the armory all right everything is set if I lose myself we just urge and change that to two piece of shell bars that would be interesting but at the moment I would like to keep my buff duration I mean beneficial anyways let's go the timer has begun let's hope we don't encounter yellows because we didn't in the first one but we'll see we'll see how it goes you know oh i didn't activate my vengeance there hmm Come on, come on. We are slightly slow here. But we'll catch up. Let's see if we can catch up. I forgot to activate my vengeance there, but anyways. is close to dying all right come over here to this side ah oh, he's going to the other side all right he's done All right, they are done. We have elite here. Interesting. Let's see how it goes here. Reign of vengeance and vengeance. All right, they, come on, open the door. We are pretty much at the same time to the final area alright this took a slightly longer I think maybe I'm not sure Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three minutes and thirty two seconds. So with the four piece of Vitus it took us around 3 minutes 25 and with this it was around 
3 minutes and 32 seconds. I kind of messed up at the first boss and the first area where I actually forgot to activate my vengeance at the right time. I lost a couple of seconds there so we are pretty tight with one another with both of these but when it comes down to going against a horde of enemies I think this is actually better. Banquet of eyes against the horde of enemies that are harder to kill let's suppose in the challenging rift with the higher combat rating this is where it is going to shine and as we can already see that the time to kill is actually really close with one another it was just the mistakes that i have done otherwise it would have been almost same so yeah now we have another option also against the tougher enemies we can actually keep our buff of 25 percent critical chance all the time and if you have some other critical chance already then it can goes up to like 40 percent for me it goes up to 40 percent but we can also hit up to 50 percent with the deal list so that's actually really insane but anyways this is it for the video do let me know what you guys think in the comment section or if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys